Make it, make it, do it. Makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Nah, 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 that that don't kill me. Can only make me stronger. Hey guys, Zero Carmenic here, and I'm bringing you my very first. Spec Ops glitch, uh, survival mode glitch, whatever you want to call it. It's on mission and you have to be level 17 because level 17 you can achieve the uh, sentry guns. And um, you can stand on sentry guns in uh, Spec Ops survival mode and stuff. So um, once you get to wave 3, um, you'll unlock the whatever the little box for it. And um, <laughs> I just pwned that guy. Um, but yeah, Wozni did discover this, don't, don't take his credit or nothing, and, um, I'm gonna fast forward the scenes in just a second, cause I have trouble getting onto this sentry gun, you'll see, um, but I'll, I'll keep this regular speed until it happens, uh, just bust out the sentry gun, bring him over here, and you go over here, I got a bunch of spec ops out of maps that are coming up soon, so yeah, place it on this, and stand on the top of the washing machine, like right here, that little brown spot, and jump on the sentry gun. It usually looks, it usually works better if you're looking completely up when you're jumping. But um, I have some trouble with these dogs and this round and everything while I'm trying to do it. So um, I'm gonna fast forward, the, fast forward through this round. But um, again, I play on Wii because I like Wii and um, I have an Xbox and a PS3. So I'm not too sure about it if it works on those because I don't really care to try it on them. Um, I don't have Modern Warfare 3 for either of the systems. But um, I don't care to get it for them because I actually rented it one time and had zero fun on it. But um, all right. So here's the the thing. All right. So you jump on the center gun from the top of the washing machine like this, and you literally just jump out of map. Okay. Very simple. I was given right time to try it, but you know you lag when you're second player in Spec Ops. So um, I just kind of went without him. <laughs> um, you just walk. Um, I don't know why I was so dedicated getting up to this hill. But, um, you could just get up there without doing that. Um, I thought that might be the line where you fall through and everything. You just have to explore. There's no really definite spot for it, uh, for the, uh, edge of the map. You'll see lines everywhere, like, you know, usually when you're out of map, the lines, um, explain where the edge of the map is, where you fall under and everything. But, uh, it's not the case for this stage. Uh, don't trust the lines. Don't trust walking out too far. Uh, you will just randomly fall through at points. Um, right here, don't, don't, that's the edge right there. Don't jump over there, though, because you will fall through. Even though it looks like you might be able to land, you will fall through. Um, yeah, these buildings are not solid. You can go in all of them. It's very interesting. Uh, you can come out here. I guess it's a good spot, but I'm pretty sure the helicopters will hit you when you're in those buildings because, you know, it's not real. But I'm not sure. See, you can see the obvious line right here, but you can just keep going past it. It doesn't matter. Um, you have to explore, there's no definite line, I cannot tell you the for sure boundaries of this, but, you know, whatever. It's, it, it's a pretty good out of map, you can go back in map, that's the good part about it. Like, the other out of map on mission, um, you can't really, you know, get back in the map. So, yeah, I um, kind of guess this was the, the boundary, and it was, I think, yeah, you can see I'm going in. So I thought I was safe right here, and then just fell through, but, um, that's it. Out of map mission number two for Spec Ops only, Aerocod Maniac, out.